we're going to take just a quick overview of what is happening. Whenever I click on any given sentence, uh, BureauWorks is looking at all of this information that I have, whether it's machine translation, whether it's glossaries, whether it's translation memories, and providing a feed that makes sense and is automatically post-edited. Here, for instance, um, Microsoft Machine Translation is using Uted, which is formal U in Spanish, but I have U labeled as Tu in my glossary, and the feed that I'm getting is already upgrading that into Tu. Uh, it's also picking up, for instance, on a potential issue around the formality of do in this translation. And depending on the target audience, it may be more appropriate to use Uted, right? So it's flagging that for me. I'm the translator. I still have full command, full control over what's going to be used. And just to explain very briefly around what, what is happening here, if we're going to let's zoom in here into this presentation. Um, when, when we talk about context sensitivity in BureauWorks, we're using a RAG translation framework that we've created that is first performing a retrieval step in all of your knowledge base that you've established specifically for, your, um, for that specific client. And that knowledge base is then guiding the feed for the platform. We're ranking that information based on, for instance, when it was created, uh, if, it's into, if, if its overall sense of integrity. And once we rank it using heuristic mechanisms in BureauWorks, we leverage large language models, like I mentioned in this case, GPT-40, but the framework is compatible with any kind of large language model. We leverage those to make sure that we're arbitrating between those content suggestions in a way that makes sense, that's predictable and scalable for the translator. And the beauty of context sensitivity is that on average, our data shows, and by the way, this paper is available, you can request it, we'll be happy to send it to you. On average, context sensitive translation is 39% more effective than traditional machine translation post editing. Um, so based on edit distance. So this is a very powerful tool, right? It's learning from you as a translator. It's becoming your own uh, digital twin as you move along. Uh, if you make any changes to, let's say, your glossary or any kind of different aspect within Bureau Works, um, let's say, for instance, here, we have machine learning not being translated uh, because that's what it learned from me. Uh, so it's saying traducir con machine learning como tu aliado. But let's say in this case, I don't want traducir, maybe I want traduzco or I want another verbiage. I can change that, I can adapt that. BureauWorks will learn from that. So that's the context sensitive bit. 